Today I've got my Sephora VIB sale haul for you. If you tuned into my shop with me video, you pretty much know what I have in here, but let's go ahead and get these goodies out. Let's swatch them, let's sniff them. <laughs> let's see what's going on with them. So I've got my box cutter here. I'm gonna dig right into this box. Shipping was pretty decent. It usually takes like one or two days longer during the sale time because they have so many orders to go through. I usually get Sephora orders like one or two days later. So not bad, not bad at all. Okay, wow, this is exciting. Where shall we start? All right, we're gonna start with the most boring thing, which is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. You guys know how much I love this concealer. Uh, I have it in the shade 2N, which is the shade that I like to use just kind of all over my face, under my eyes, etc. However, I have been getting paler and paler as the weeks go on, and I've always wanted to get a lighter shade. So I picked up 1N in this concealer. Let's see the difference. Oh yeah, it is visibly lighter, and this one definitely looks probably one that is going to do better for my skin. So this is 1N, this is 2N. You know what I love? It is truly neutral. I feel like when shades get lighter in, in a shade range, they tend to also get cooler at the same time. But this is light and still neutral. So here's 2N and here is 1N. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a better match, especially under my eyes if I wanna do a little bit of brightening. I think the 1N is gonna be great. All right. I'm glad I picked that up. The formula seems to be the same. There hasn't been any formula change with that, thank goodness. Ah, the Natasha Denona Baby Gold Palette. So I did pick this up. It is meant to be or can be an ornament, which is really fun, really cute. And I picked this up because this three pan little palette here does not look to be especially warm. It actually looks very neutral which I liked because I just had a very warming experience with the mini, uh, mini bronze. It was just so, so orangey. Like a little bit of warmth I was definitely expecting, but it was just really orangey. Uh, anyway, here is the Baby Gold palette. And to my knowledge, this is the very first baby palette from Natasha Denona, which has three shades in it. I think her mini palettes are the smallest. Uh, before she came out with this, and those have the little five pans in there. So I really like this idea of like three pans. And this was $19 before the sale, so it's like $380 off of $19 after that, so it was only like $16.20. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's do some swatches. Ooh, yeah, super creamy. And I like the tones of the browns in here. Yes, very, very neutral. The gold obviously is very, very warm. This shade actually reminds me of a shade that's in the Camel palette, which is one of my favorite all-time palettes from Natasha Denona. Ooh, that's great. I'm glad I picked this up. This is really nice. All right, next, I did pick up the Valentino Eye to Cheek uh, Dual Use Blush and Eyeshadow, the Star Studs Edition. So this is a limited edition product for the holidays. And there were two shades, and I ended up getting Copper Twilight instead of, it was like a peachy one. I'm sure you guys remember. Um, I felt like the peachy one is just something I would normally pick up, and I just wanted to try something different. So here is the outer packaging, which is different from the regular eye and cheek, which is red, and then this V isn't like studded. It's just like a gold V. So there is the powder product. I almost said eyeshadow, but it's for eyes and cheeks. And then there is a little brush up here that I'm sure I won't use. Um, but I really, really like the Valentino pressed powder formula. They're very, very creamy. So I'm just gonna do a quick swatch. Oh yeah, super creamy. And nicely pigmented. And there is Copper Twilight. Now this Copper Twilight is not that warm. It's actually, I would say, it's more like between a bronze and a gold. Ooh, look how smooth that is. Ooh, it's gorgeous. Well, I can't wait to try this out. If this is really nice, I may pick up the peach one too, the other one, because I do really like these Ida Cheek products from Valentino. All right, that looks like it has a lot of promise as well. So far, I think my haul is a success. <laughs> um, but let's take a look at this Valentino lipstick that I picked up too. This was really definitely on the whim because this is a matte lipstick. 
Um, I do like the Valentino matte lipsticks. Uh, they're not very drying. They do go on very smoothly. It's like one of those. Uh, but this is limited edition for the holidays, and it is in shade 111A, Undressed Velvet. And it just looked like a really pretty, uh, kind of deeper red without being too super vampy. Anyway, we'll see. So here is the packaging. It is in black instead of the red. And yeah, I'm still not the biggest fan of the Valentino like lipstick packaging. It's just very, it's like very plasticky. It's very like cheap plastic. At least it feels and looks that way. Um, but the products are nice. Oh, and there's like the rock stud pattern on the bullet of this lipstick. That's very cool. Kind of looks like it would be slightly mauve, but then there's a lot of warmth to it. But then there's like a pink undertone. I definitely saw it in the swatch picture on the Sephora site. So it was actually pretty accurate on the site. But yeah, it just looks like a really nice red without being like, like a primary kind of red. Like it has a little bit of warmth, but there's also like a cool undertone. It's really neat. I can't wait to uh, do like a whole trying new makeup with all of this stuff because a lot of this, like I said, has a lot of promise. Very fun. Okay, so that's the stuff that I got from Valentino. Um, I also picked up this mini palette from Anastasia. This is the Glam To Go palette. Here's the outer box packaging. On the back of the box, there's actually a little picture of the palette. And this was also something I just got on a whim because I like small palettes. I had a great luck with the Anastasia Nouveau palette. I passed on that uh, Rose or Rose's Metal palette. That one just looked a little bit too like deep for me. Um, but this one I thought looked very pretty and something I could use. Look at those eight shades, really, really nice. So this is uh, cardboard packaging, but it feels very sturdy, magnetic closure. And yeah, I like those eight shades. So let me quick do some swatches of these shades for you. Ooh, the shadows are really soft. So they're the top four, really nice. On the softer side, like Anastasia shadows are, like they're a little bit soft in the pan, um, but that makes them very, very blendable, which is nice. Okay, and here are the four shades that are on the bottom. So those are all of the eight shades. Really, really pretty. I have to say though, there isn't a ton of contrast between this shade, this shade, and this shade. Let's see, I think basically I pointed out Dawn, Rosy, and Dusk. I mean, they look very different in the pan, but I feel like swatching them, right? Like there's a little bit of similarity there. Really pretty color story. I'm glad I picked that up too. It seems like, again, there's a lot of potential here. Very, very promising. <laughs> And then I got the Westman Atelier, uh, the Petal Edition, Limited Edition kit. Uh, she comes out with these amazing kits for like the holidays and they're so pretty. And this one actually has a product in here that is only available as part of this gift. Wow, this is so pretty. So the box opens up, this is like cardboard box. Um, and then we have the Lit Up Highlight Stick in Petal. So this is the one that is only available in this box set. And then we have the Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm in Petal. And these all have different packaging because the Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balms usually have like a black, like a matching cap. So that's interesting. And then same with this Petal Baby Cheeks Blush Stick. This is in gold packaging, which is unique to this kit. Otherwise it is in that kind of like matte gray uh, packaging. So let me do some swatches of all this. I'm really excited for this little highlight stick because uh, not only is that the new product, but I love, love the Westman Atelier little highlight sticks, as you guys know. Ooh, this is so pretty. This is like so much more mauve looking, at least here in the tube here in the bullet. This is pretty. Such a cool toned pink with like a little bit of like lilac in there. I hope you guys can see it. These little highlight sticks, I mean, they're highlighters, so they're not super pigmented. It's really more about that finish. So there's just a little bit of a tint to it. Oh, that's nice. That is really, really pretty. And there's just a little bit of like a shimmer in there, but really the highlight is gonna come across through like the, the glossiness of the actual product. 
That is gorgeous. It's so much cooler than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was just gonna be like a straight up kind of uh, pink undertone. That's really pretty. Um, here is the Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm. So there's the liquid lip balm, very pretty pink. And then the Baby Cheeks Blush Stick. This was actually my very first shade in the blush stick that I got because I find it to be the most uh, versatile. It's like the most neutral shade in the whole line. They're all really, really beautiful. But you know, some lean a little peach, some have like a little bit of warmth to them. Some are a lot lighter. This one is definitely, I think, the most versatile and would work for the most skin tones and the most makeup looks. Those are the three products. There's that highlight. Oh, it's gorgeous. The lip balm and the blush. I'm so glad I picked this up. I wasn't going to, I don't know why. <laughs> I wasn't going to, I just have so much Westman Atelier stuff. I have so many cream highlights, cream blushes, blah, blah, blah. But I'm so glad I picked this up. This is really beautiful. All right, now moving into, I get skincare slash makeup. I also picked up the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40 in the shade Golden Hours. I use the original, which gives you just this really like light, shimmery, highlighty kind of quality to your skin. It's just a gorgeous kind of like pearly sheen. And then they came out with this one, which has a little bit of a tint to it. Uh, I want to say it's going to have a subtle bronzy tint to it, but let's go ahead and see. So here is the tube. I'm so excited for this because <laughs> I really love the glow screen. Uh, but some days I just feel like I need a little bit of help in the complexion area. All right, there it is. And let's blend it out. Ooh. That's gorgeous. It has a very similar sheen to the original, but then you've got this bronzy glow. This is right up my alley. You guys know how much I love like the Victoria Beckham Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer in Golden, my By Terry Sunny Flash that I love. This is very similar to those. This one I think, which I'm happy about, is like even a little bit more subtle now that I've blended it out. In terms of the bronze, this I think has a stronger sheen, definitely than the Victoria Beckham. Maybe very similar to the By Terry. I am very excited for this. Ooh, it looks really, really pretty. So that's the Supergroup Glow Screen in Golden Hour. I'm so excited, they have two shades now. And then I got two perfumes. I'm really excited for this Killian Rose Oud. I'm sitting here trying to think like, what was I most excited for? I was excited for all of this stuff, but the Rose Oud, I'm just really excited because I just want to smell it really badly. I was of course very excited for the Westman Atelier kit because I really wanted to check out that petal highlight stick. Um, but there's something about perfume because you're really like, it, it could go really bad. It could go really, really badly. <laughs> but when it goes well, like when it's like exceeds your expectations, I just feel like when it's perfume, it really is like, oh my God, like, oh, I love this. Oh, okay. So here's the Rose Oud by Killian. Comes in this gorgeous package. Wow, this would make a gorgeous gift. This bottle too, this bottle alone is very seductive, is it not? Oof. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. It is, sorry, I'm just like letting it all kind of like settle. You know when you spray it into the air, it's not quite the same as when you spray it onto your skin. It is, wow. Okay, the rose, it's like a very deep red rose kind of scent. It's not like, uh, like rose bushes, like in a garden where they're white and pink or whatever. No, this is a very like deep kind of rose. The oud comes through uh, like just underneath the rose and it's, it's really, it's warm bordering on hot. I don't know, like when I smell things, sometimes I feel like I smell like a temperature and like a color and all those things. This is like a very hot kind of fragrance. Wow. This is like third date fragrance. I'm sure you guys have heard me reference that before, but this is like a third date fragrance. <laughs> Mm. Wow, that's incredible. Oof, this is gonna be great for the winter time. Oh, I love it so much. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with these Killian bottles, but it has this like texture on the side. It's really neat. 
really awesome. I feel like everything I've got so far is really promising. I know I keep saying that, but you know, you know, when you buy stuff, sometimes you're like, oh, that wasn't it. That wasn't it, but yeah, so far so good. Okay, we're gonna open up the Aqua Allegoria Peregranita from Guerlain. I'm like assuming that you watch my shop with me video, so I'm not introducing each product, but let me do that. Um, I really love the Guerlain Aqua Allegoria line. It's their very light eau de toilette, uh, fresh kind of scent. It's actually probably gonna be like the exact opposite <laughs> of this Killian. Um, and so, I don't know, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to purchase something like this now because these are more of like a spring summer fragrance, but I don't know, I just ended up in the fragrance section and it looked good to me, so let's see. Here is the packaging and there's the uh, honeycomb design at the top. These bottles are so pretty. They're like so vanity worthy. And let me spray this over here. Ooh, ooh, that's so fresh. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, like literally the exact opposite <laughs> of this Gillian because it's like sharp, it's really fresh, it's bright, um, it's cool. Like I would not say it's a hot fragrance. Mm. Oh, I love it. And there definitely is like a strong like pear, kind of like juicy pear scent. If you don't like that, you're not gonna like this. It's not as obnoxious, but it's almost like candy, like candy sweet. Oh, I really like that. Oh, I'm glad I picked this up. This is gonna be nice for those days where I just want something light and fresh. Like I still always reach for my uh, Jo Malone grapefruit cologne because I just feel like it just goes. It just goes with everything. It's unoffensive, everyone loves it. Um, and I feel like this falls into that category. And then last but not least, now I don't know if I'm gonna set this whole thing up because this is the Jo Malone diffuser in lime basil mandarin. But look at this packaging. Now this would make a gorgeous, gorgeous gift. So lime basil and mandarin, again, you know, I, when I was doing the shop with me, I was kind of deciding like which diffuser I wanted. I knew I wanted a diffuser because I currently have one that's been going strong for 10 months in my guest bathroom. So I knew I wanted to get one because eventually I'm gonna have to switch that out. I wanna put one in another part of my home, but they didn't have like a lot in the diffusers. And I know I just love the lime basil mandarin uh, fragrance or scent, even though it's very spring summer. But let's go ahead and just open it up so I can show you what it looks like if you do not see my recommendations video. But here is the diffuser and then here are the reeds that you stick in. So it looks like they changed the label for the holidays and they give you, how many reeds do they give you? About 10 reeds. So I don't know if you guys have ever used a diffuser before, but the more reeds you put in there, the stronger it's gonna be and maybe the quicker it will go. But I put five reeds into my other Jo Malone diffuser and that diffused very, very well. I don't think I needed any more than that. And that's what's lasted for 10 months at this point. So I'm very excited. I have to decide where I wanna put this. Maybe upstairs since the other one is down here. Um, but that is the diffuser from Jo Malone. I love it, love it. And that is it for my haul. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Definitely stay tuned, definitely subscribe if you haven't already, uh, if you wanna see all these products in action because I'm gonna be doing like trying new makeup videos uh, very, very soon. But thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.